The only mall in Modesto is finding itself in a difficult situation as traffic patterns have changed through the years in your vintage fair mall. City leaders have a plan to fix it, though. As your reporter covering Stanislaus County, Nina Burns, shows us, it will mean surrendering a large piece of land. The city is currently in phase two of the project, where they plan to have a total of 11 roundabouts, spanning from Sanford Avenue, Sisk and Dale Road, and the 99 interchange. You have to identify viable alternatives, options that can solve this problem, and roundabouts are one at the level of analysis we did for the first phase, show that it can work. Modesto City Engineer Toby Will says while they're still early in the planning process, their goal is to improve safety and mobility in the area, a concept the city and the mall aren't seeing eye to eye on. The company that owns Vintage Fair Mall, Mace Rich, writing a letter of objection to the city at the start of October, stating the current proposed plans entirely disregard Vintage Fair Mall by requiring the city to seize a large and critical portion of our parking area through eminent domain. That portion spanning over five and a half acres. We have right of way for Sisk and Dale that goes around their property. They do have an existing loop road that, you know, that goes through there, but that is on their property. Will's saying if the current plan survives the next two phases of the project, the city will use the power of eminent domain. We always prefer to reach agreement with, you know, the property owners without using that process, but that is unfortunately, one of the options at our disposal. Mace Rich's letter goes on to say, Vintage Fair Mall provides employment opportunities for over 2,300 people and generates over $30 million in sales tax revenue for the county, city, and state each year. Estimating the city's current plans will eliminate over 635 parking spaces and make 270 additional spaces unusable, all while potentially eliminating businesses. And ultimately, we want the businesses out there to be successful, right? But Will says, all all current plans are subject to change. You know, all of these improvements are really with them in mind. Uh, I know they don't see it that way, but at the end of the day, you know, an efficient, safe roadway network is so that people can live, shop, and enjoy the community that we, we all call home. Now, the city and Caltrans still have two years left of the planning process, and the city engineer says if everything goes perfectly to plan, they won't break ground for construction until 2028.